Thank you for tuning in to Terry Sue Videos. On today's video, I'm going to do a Where Are They Now on the actress Karen Melina White. She's mostly known for playing Kanisha in the movie Lean On Me. This movie came out in 1989 and it starred Morgan Freeman. And I thought this was one of the best movies of the 80s. And I thought her performance in this movie was amazing. She plays this young teenage girl. But at the time of this movie, when it came out in 1989, she was actually 24 years old. But she plays this young, vibrant young girl. She's looking for a father figure. And Joe Clark gives her that father figure that guides her in the right direction. She was so emotional in this role. I thought she should have got an Oscar nomination. That's how good she was in this movie. Clark is not East Side High. Mr. Clark is not only East Side High. Mr. Clark is like a father. He's the only father that some of us who do have fathers know. You don't know a thing about Mr. Clark. The movie made $31 million at the box office. It got rave reviews from critics. Usually when somebody makes a biopic, the biopic usually comes out many years after the event. But what's interesting about this movie about Joe Clark is they made this movie like a couple years after the event that occurred. Joe Clark took over as principal in 1987 and he changed around the school in 1988-87. In the very next year, they make this movie about Joe Clark. So that's this it's probably the first biopic I ever seen before that took place right after the event that happened. So that's what makes this movie so unique from so many other biopics. Cuz usually when somebody makes a true story about somebody's life, they usually wait 10, 20 years after the event of that person's life to make the movie. But this movie doesn't follow that method at all. After Lean On Me, Karen went on to play on The Cosby Show. She was on the last two seasons of The Cosby Show from 1991 to 1992. As most of you may know, The Cosby Show was on the air for eight years from 1984 to 1992. And then they started bringing on new cast members towards the end of the show. And she was on the last two seasons of The Cosby Show. And she went on to play in a different world, which was a spinoff of The Cosby Show. And she also appeared on uh, Will Smith's show, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. She played in numerous black sitcoms throughout the 1990s. While appearing on the TV show Malcolm in the Middle, she started a serious relationship with Malcolm Jamal Warner, the star of the show. And they were together for about several years. They were engaged to be married, but they eventually ended up breaking up. And to this day, she never has been married and she doesn't have any kids. As beautiful as she is, she's never been married and she doesn't have any kids. Today, she's 55 years old. And as you can see, she looks lovely. She's still acting. She appeared in a few episodes of the, of the show Snowfall. And I'm just glad to see that she's still working and acting and doing what she does best. A lot of people have different opinions about this topic. Leave a comment, rate, and subscribe. It's a hard industry, and um, it's really hard for black women 
Um, but so I'm, I'm very proud. Um, everything I've done, I mean, I've been on some wonderful mm -hmm. historical landmark television no, series. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With Cosby and Different World. And um, I remember for Malcolm and Eddie, I didn't even have to audition. <laughs> doing um, regional theater down at South Coast Rep and uh, getting paid, I think, $800 a week, which was the most I had ever gotten paid in theater at that time. And they called me to do Malcolm and Eddie. And I, would, and I said, I really want to keep doing this play. I originated the role of um, Ernestine Crump in a play called Crumps from the Table Joy. And I said, I really want to keep doing this play. And they said they work around my schedule. I was like, really? So, um, That's what I said, really? <laughs> and so um, on tape day, I would leave and I would tape, you know, without an audience and put it, they would put my stuff in the can and then I'd go off and go do theater. And so I was just like at the height of my career. Oh, so I was really um, personally.